nuclear talks with Iran have resumed today in Vienna. Iran's supreme leader and a senior U.S. administration official have both played down the talks believing they will be a complicated and lengthy process that will most likely not lead to a deal. Last November, Iran and the P5 plus one group of countries, which includes China, France, Russia, the UK, the US and Germany, reached a deal to curb Iran's nuclear program in return for easing some sanctions. As part of this agreement, negotiators have six months to reach a permanent deal. Mark Fitzpatrick said it's going to be very difficult for them to reach a comprehensive solution by July. There will be those who accuse the government of appeasement and a failure as a result. A senior American official also stated, We don't know if at the end of these six months we will be able to achieve a comprehensive agreement, but we aim to, as President Obama has said, and I quite agree, it's probably as likely that we won't get an agreement as it is that we will. As part of the November deal, the EU and the US said it will allow Iran to access 4.2 billion in oil revenues held in frozen bank accounts and suspend sanctions on its petrochemical exports and imports of goods and services for its auto sector. In the latest economic assessment on Iran, the IMF has upgraded its economic outlook. It expects to see growth of about 1-2% to this year due to November's agreement and the ongoing talks. Inflation fell to below 30% in December of last year, from about 45% in July. The IMF now expects inflation to drop to as low as 15% in the 12 months from March. It still believes the country is in urgent need of major reforms for an economic recovery. However, the Obama administration has said the sanctions reprieve would provide only limited economic relief to Iran estimating the total value at around $7 billion. The supreme leader of Iran yesterday expressed his support for the nuclear negotiations, but he still believes tensions will continue between the two countries, saying in a public statement, but all should know that the US hostility is with the Islamic Revolution and Islam, and this hostility will not end with the negotiations. Well, viewers, that is it for right now. But if you are interested in hearing more about the Middle East, I will be conducting an interview on Egypt tomorrow. So, see you then.